Good morning guys. So this morning I'm just working on a little 13 ton uh, Kato crane. Uh, it's got intermittent problems um, with the slip ring. So um, it's losing contact on power across some of the gear on the um, on the dash and affecting, it's essentially affecting um, the computer. The computer uh, is dropping out and resetting on operation of the crane. So something tells me there's a bit of crap in the slew ring or slip ring, sorry, or brush, rotary brush set um, that's causing, um, causing continuity issues. Anyway, I'll show you the truck and then we'll have a closer look at the parts. So here we go, little 13 tonner. This is a Japanese domestic model. So just in this little pocket here is where your rotary brush set is. And if we go in for a closer look, that's the guy there. That's what it looks like. So I'll just point out a few things on it. This um, top section here, this housing here is your angle sensor for the slew position. This is the actual ring set, the discs. Those discs are connected from the bottom and they stay stationary. They stay in the same spot and they are connected straight through the bottom. They've got wiring coming up. This is the hydraulic um, slip ring or the uh, hydraulic housing. And then above is electrical. So this guy has rings in it, a whole heap of them. And then in the back here, you've got contacts or brushes that rub up against those rings. Obviously this this top housing, all of this spins with the top of the superstructure, but inside these discs stay stationary. Uh, and that's how we do 360 slew without all our wires getting tangled. The pretty common thing on industrial applications for, you know, and it's something that spins and has electrical current going through it. But anyway, that's our brush, rotary brush. That housing where you can see there's a crack in the uh, in the seal there, just here. So this bit comes off. There's our wiring looms. There's two looms there. Um, so this uh, angle sensor has been unplugged. There's a plug that goes in the back there. You see it just down there. So this yeah this back housing comes off, but it's pretty stubborn. And at the moment, I'm just waiting for an extra diagram to show me what the configuration of these forks or brushes are, how they go up against the rings, and whether if I yank this out, if it's going to come flying apart. I have pulled one of these apart before, but it's a different a different style on a Cabelco, and uh, it wasn't really like this. It was a little bit different. It just had a big cover that came off, and everything was all self-contained inside. You didn't have this extra casing to come off, and... So essentially, once I have this guy out, then I can undo screws down here and pull this whole housing. Comes right up, up, comes up and off, and then it should expose all the rings. So there are two components of the rotary brush, the rings or the discs, or the cylinder, the contact cylinder, and the brushes. This is from the top, and the discs are from the bottom. This stays still, brushes spin with the whole superstructure, with the whole top of the crane. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back in. Um, once I have it open and we can get a closer look at what's going on, but I expect that there's gonna be all crap and carbon and shit all stuck in between all the discs and possibly all over the brushes as well. These brushes wear, they're made out of um, usually out of like a graphite or possibly copper, copper forks or something, but they wear and crap collects in there. As you can see, it's a completely sealed unit, but there is a debris from the actual wear and tear. This unit is about 15 years old, something like that. So that's 2005, so it's 16 and a half, uh, 16 years old, something like that, yeah. 
So anyway, all right, I'll bring you guys back in once I have a closer look at what's going on. So I'm still having a bit of trouble. Well, I haven't actually done anything, but I forgot to tell you guys. I'm having a bit of trouble removing this and I'm, it just feels stubborn. So I'm thinking maybe I need to remove these screws and pull this angle sensor housing off. It comes apart here, there's the seam. So all, all of this comes off the top. That's where it plugs in here. That comes off and then maybe I'll have a bit more of a view of what's going on inside the, the case. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna remove, bang, bang. And there's two on the other side, highly inconvenient spots. Upside down screws, what a pain in the ass. Anyway, back soon. All right, so quick update on the old rotary brush. Um, having trouble getting this brush set to come out. It looks like the actual brushes are stuck when I open this. This little guy, Jerry, to open. Uh, I can just see all the wires going into the back of the brushes. Um, so either they're sort of like stuck in amongst the discs. Uh, I'm really just not sure how. It all fits in because I don't have a diagram. So the uh, idea was to possibly remove this top housing. You can see that's the angle sensor in there. It's all spanking clean. But I need to undo these screws on the corner. Be able to get this uh, bad boy off. It should just come straight off. This from here upwards it should just come straight up. And possibly that is stopping the actual brushes coming out for some reason. I don't think so, but possibly. And then I should be able to see inside the cylinder here and see how caked up it is. Of course, these screws on the corner are upside down. So I've got to unscrew them from the bottom. Which is fine for that one and that one and the one on this corner. But the one back here, of course there is no room. So I thought, I'll undo these screws, and I can spin this guy around. I can spin it around a bit, but not so easy. I still can't get this back screw undone, of course. So that's where we're at. Currently still waiting for diagrams from Japan, but I don't want to pull on this too much because then the wires will start to fatigue. And then if they start coming apart, well, I don't know if you can see how many wires are in there, but there's a lot. There's quite a lot. It's hard to see, but there is a heap of wires. They are wires, they're not forks, they're wires going into the back of the brush set. And the brush set is stuck in this section here. Hmm. As per usual, annoying, difficult to get to. And just annoying. Right, hi friends. So a bit of an update on the crane. A bit of an update on the crane. Here we are. Now that's the uh, rotary brush. I pulled it all apart. I finally got it apart. It's an absolute pain in the ass. And that thing looked so clean, you could make pharmaceuticals in it. It was ridiculously spotless, uh, which suggests that there wasn't an issue with moisture or um, condensation or anything with it. Um, so anyway, I busted my ass for like two days to get that freaking thing out and get it pulled apart. And spent a whole heap of time underneath the truck. Under there, yeah. Under there. Trying to work out what the problem was. Anyway, it turns out, once I sort of got it back together again, um, it presented completely different problems. Nothing like what it was originally doing. Um, I then was getting anti two block on, getting anti two block on the, on the auxiliary hook. Uh, I had had a bit of a fiddle with the cord reel. 
um, just checking the plugs and everything were all snug and then all of a sudden I get anti two block coming up even when the hook's down go through test all that fiddle around with some of the wires as you can see you've got plugs there but then you can see right there in the middle you've got joins in those leads there's your anti two block there's a joint with bullet plugs not really susceptible to weather or yet susceptible to weather sorry and then you've got your bloody ridiculous military grade waterproof plugs there if you boom and they give me a little bit of strife when i wash the crane sometimes you get a little bit of moisture in there but these bad boys have never done really anything uh anyway it turns out i think maybe it was just one of those not connecting properly you've also got on this side, some more just uh, up there somewhere. On that lead, there's another couple of joins. But anyway, that's for your main hook. This guy, this guy here is for your auxiliary, and I think it was that. So out of stuffing around undoing wire looms from underneath the the bottom of the crane where it comes down through here and into the into the computer cabinet undoing all that loom feeding it all back through the rotary brush we're talking thick thick looms of possibly about 40 wires or something and piss farting around in the middle of the crane there in the guts trying to work out whether I had continuity issues with the wiring on the rotary brush turns out it was just there on the side of the boom the strange thing is I'm still not entirely sure that that was a problem but it's working everything's working so I had uh, I had um, uh, it not packing up. I had it not packing up. Um, not packing up in pack up mode. It was giving me a like an anti two block, I suppose. Um, although that sort of doesn't happen in in pack up mode. And in operation mode, it was definitely giving me anti two block alarm. Uh, I was only able to boom down and wire up wire down, boom up, boom down with override key in pack up mode whereas in operation mode it was fine but then in operation mode slewing past zero degrees on the slew angle it was glitching out and I don't know glitching out and er like throwing an error C double O which that's supposed to be like a comms error. Um, that could have been something to do with that guy on top, that little housing on top is your angle sensor for your slew. Maybe that wasn't set at exactly, you know, 359 degrees for pack up or zero degrees for pack up. Either way, it's a freaking mystery. It's a freaking mystery what was going on because I had all these weird issues that were going on and nothing really explains itself why I was doing that who knows I hadn't touched the angle sensor at that point and it was giving me errors it's giving me errors on the way home just hitting bumps it would error out and something would happen uh it was not allowing me to pack up um unlock suspension uh you know anyway all of that has subsided I've woken up today with a massive headache got out here at I don't know, 6.30 in the morning to work on it and uh, it's now about 1.30 I just tested it and it all seems to be working so strange days strange days on the crane alright guys thanks for watching any suggestions like a new career path let me know and I'll see you next time